Okay, so we start in here. Um, my name's Alan Forrester. I work for a charity called Scottish Water Lease Trust. We're a canal charity based out of Falkland Wheel. My colleague, Charlie Lyons here, helps run Canal College. We've also brought a young participant from the previous project, uh, Martin Cullen. First part of this, there is some structure to this wee presentation. <coughs> Not the first bit, we're kind of making this up as we go along. We've got a wee five minute video though, which can give you a flavour of um, what we did, the people taking part, what they got from it. And Martin has very kindly volunteered to give us a wee bit of his own testimony. Is Martin slightly younger than us? Certainly hearing. Canal College grew out of a project which we ran, we've been running since 2009 called Green Action, employability project. And we are based at the Wheel. We've got some kind of grounds at the wheel, we've got the canal side. We thought it was an ideal place to have an employability project aimed at 16 to 24 year olds unemployed, typically with lots of other issues in their lives. Um, didn't succeed in the classroom, typically. That's been running now since 2009, still running today. And we've had about 400 young people passing the project. Um, Largely funded by Forestry Commission. I had to do a report each time and they would ask what kind of challenges these young people had and took up one side of the way for there's a syndrome, issue, problem, medical condition for almost every letter of the alphabet. Um, youngsters who couldn't read, write, tie the laces, all kinds of challenging and challenged youngsters. And we based at the folk of wheel, enjoyed the success of being in action, but then thought we are actually sat upon 140 miles off schedule monument here. We should be making more use of that. And so we combined the, the best bits of green action with... <laughs> and working with our friends at Arc Hill Scotland, in the back there. We developed a project called Canal College, which would combine the employability aspects of Green Action, same or similar target group, with some real heritage work on the canals. We ran a pilot in 2013-15, 162 young people, uh, as I say, typically failed in the classroom, um, two, three, four, Maybe more steps on the job market. By the end of 162 people, 72% recorded a positive destination. That could have been a job, qualification, place at college, or volunteering elsewhere. Um, we've just come through the first program of the second Canal College, largely funded by Heritage Lottery, and we're recording the same kinds of um, positive destinations. So, we do the video first. Video first? Yeah. <coughs> do the video? The video. Okay. Our entire team is all about changing people's lives. And the Canal College is our pioneering skills based employability program using the Canal Network. It's operated on three different canals, the Golden Clyde, the Calder Union Canal, and the Union Canal. Living in the Highlands in a rural area um, kind of has its downfalls. It may be peace and quiet, but it's really difficult to find a place where you can get out of bed in the morning and just walk to work. Our young people have to travel large distances to come into their nests and work. It's quite sporadic work and everything that is in rural areas. So we're now college where we can take young people, we need to build up the confidence and their skills. Network with more employers is really important. So far we've been doing exercises with the Archaeology Scotland team. The two of we're working with have been fantastic. It's been really inclusive. They're getting involved with excavation, um, with site drawing. They've been doing building survey. You know, we're looking for buildings that have identified in background research and our young people are helping us try to find that building. I've always been kind of 
and Kevin Martin say that it's never going to be what it's actually about, thought he mean. Before that, I did a degree in zoology at the University of Glasgow. And, but because that was more kind of theoretical in the classroom stuff, it was good to kind of come here and put this mass skills in practice. We've been doing uh, mammal rafting, which is trying using the footprints of the mammals in the canal to see if they more make them more vulnerable. Then we also had this um, plant walk where I learned a lot about the kind of plants that are in the canal because I was more interested in the fauna, but the plants are just as interesting. We had a duck at a queer. And we were doing pitching because the abuse isn't taken out of the tree um, and a lot of the stones for us. <coughs> so we have to take them out and then put them back together again like a jigsaw um, so that the weir keeps its stability. But thank you for all the young people. Um, this has been some of the really unusual things, some of the difficult and other thought, but very poor opportunities that might afford them. And also some of them that they can be proud of themselves. At the time when it was suggested to me, it was a terrifying. I don't like going outside much, but it's really helped in terms of confidence and communication because there's not many opportunities where you get to work with an entire group of strangers from a similar area uh, who are all interested in the same thing. So it's a um, really good way to open myself up to a whole new world of work that I hadn't even considered before. The learning new skills so that they're walking in tedious, getting to the different people. They were getting the idea what it's like to be in a lock place. I mean, a lot of people say, well, I do this to get something back. I don't. I do it because I enjoy it. It's nice to see the lads and lasses getting something. A lot of them, but nothing in school. We're now giving them that back up so they can move on in life. The best thing is, you get that the news about you and the interact with other people. It will be a big thing to come on your CV. Hopefully, it works out for me and I'll get it. I don't know that. The young people are actually working towards an SQA in cultural heritage. Uh, so this is the first time that this is being delivered in Scotland, and this will be our first qualification that we'll be delivering as part of Canal College. With the canals, you have a, such a rich built heritage, which covers buildings, maritime, the archaeology, the cultural significance, the industry, and the fact that you are making the history and the heritage of this area really work for people's lives today. <clears throat> I would say Canal College is a stepping stone for a lot of youngsters who've had some go to art school, go back into further education and get jobs. To be honest, I think everybody can find something in it. It's really good, even just as an excuse to get out. And it's doing things that a lot of the time I might not get the opportunity to do. So I think personally I recommend it to all of them. Success of this project, I guess, is that it engages the kind of learners we've got and it's all the work. I was very really excited. Um, it also complements Scottish Canal's heritage strategy. We've got all these buildings in various stages of repair or disrepair. Lots of them are in investigation, recording, monitoring, and as I say, some repairs. So over the years, we've done uh, excavations at distillery and brewery. We've done the Alphlex Shoes. We are like a game. Another somebody in that at that point. You know, so we'll get Shoes, you're sure. some, some of the things you've got up. So we've worked on all kinds of structures, traditional line watering on a massive wharf wall. We've uh, been working on a weir recently, replacing coals, line watering. We work on bridges, culverts. Um, Doing tasks which Scottish Canal staff would probably never get around to doing. So the youngsters that help them keep our heritage in good condition, looking after it, whilst at the same time carrying out a new future for themselves. This is in the Yeah, that's one of the sessions we do. 
We've got off the SQA uh, cultural heritage. I think you mentioned the yeah, actual at the beginning. Kath, hands on, hands on, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. And, and the guy who's built my boxes. You just sit down and teach folks about bats. It's the last half an hour, an hour, an hour mostly, mostly, and they get quite they bored. They didn't really engage in the classroom. Built my boxes, hanging out, putting them up trees, lots of brewing, and all then feeds into the SQA and cultural heritage. So there's always a purpose in what I'm doing. I'm learning about qualification. I think we recognise Martin on that one along. Yeah. 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 I'm not really doubt you can see some of the things we're doing down there. A bit of natural heritage as well. So we do the bad boxes, we do mammal rafts, we do uh, a workshop on traditional canals, and that's where we do some of the food vendors and stuff like that. And then we do some of the remedies. And again, I thought when that session was kind of introduced to him, I thought a bunch of young people, 16 and 19 year old, Wild plants. I thought that's ain't going to get down well. Absolutely love it. Absolutely fantastic session. Probably one of the sessions they engage most with. Because well, again, at the end of the session, last session we made bath bombs. Twenty-year-old lads making bath bombs for their mums. Brilliant. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I can't think what else they actually made. Oh, we made uh, picora sauce out of what they had found in the woods. And we had a wee pancake with pancakes with piccola sauce, didn't quite go, but hey, we didn't really like it. Yeet, did you find? Did you find the pancakes? So this is us. So we found Ray Glasgow. I was talking to one young lad yesterday who was asking him to enjoy the course. He said if he could have done an archaeology for all 14 weeks, he'd have been so mad. Well, what was the Western Bar, aren't we? Yep. We've got a big build box. He's called Bowling Western Bar. And that's my crew. I manage the, the Falkirk young people. I say I manage me more lightly. Carla, it's the pleasure. Carla, sit on the back quietly. You had the pleasure of working with these young people. I like that. That's them working on the archaeological to get those back to the distillery. They used to spend the last week with these photographs, but they're not going to bore you to death. The young lady with the blue of the thumb up, she wouldn't come out of the house. That was a major effort, I had to come out of the house and she loved it. Um, she actually started speaking, she started eating in front of people. So I was just talking about positive destinations, it's not always a qualification. It can be just getting out and doing something. That's us repairing a 200 year old rear up at Old Glen Village, just outside Falkirk. I think Alan's going to, I don't know if you mentioned the mentors, but it's some amazing volunteer mentors to give up their time to work with young people. I don't think the young people would progress as quickly without them. We've got big teeth out there at the edge, just to stand at the edge of the canal. It's fair to say Peter had a bit of checker past himself as a young man, but he's now absolutely lost and now supporting the young people. Did they not fall but people? You must have thrown that in by accident. I don't know. This is my project at Zedbrook. I've lost that last time. I've done that with people. Stone guy. As I said, doing the marble rafts there, checking out to see if there's a uh, mink in the area. And that photo there just says canal polish to me. That's my favourite. I take hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pictures of that. That's my favourite so far. It's, it looks like you make a jolly at the fourth and flight canal. Thank you for the board. Just for the time, sure the skipper just going to be drinking his coffee cup there. Tommy Lawton, top of the canal, a lot of people call me. Tommy's 74, he's one of the volunteer mentors. And then you've got young lad, you'll not say his name in the middle in case anybody knows him. Um, he was he probably not typical of the kind of young people we've had, but he's faced a lot of challenges in life. Uh, he's, he's deaf, he lost his hearing in the two year old, he had a household accident. His mum and dad were taken away from him on Christmas Day by the police. He was expelled from school at 14. And he's probably the nicest, most helpful young man I've ever met. It's absolutely amazing. He absolutely loves coming out of college and he loves learning for these guys. Engaged with absolutely everything. So with a bit of luck, we were able to help him to enter some kind of budget destiny. He's might not be playing, but we'll get him more, more training, more support. In some respects, the tasks that we do are secondary. It's listening, respecting them. Picking them up when they're falling down, all the good stuff that the janitors in between, 
the tasks, um, which makes the tasks almost secondary. We don't really care if they plant a tree or cut a tree down or if they fix a wall today. As long as they come engaged, learned, and gain a wee bit of more self-esteem, confidence for my experience. It comes with volunteers. Um, I think that sets the scene for when we don't have to come. <coughs> we all say, you know, I get paid to do this, you don't, you don't have to stay. And uh, it's incredible how much commitment you show, despite all the troubles. I could be girl this week who was thrown out uh, by her mum. We then discovered that her mum regularly beat her. She, um, her best friend, her best boyfriend, for many years, spreading rumours about her. Um, she didn't know where to sleep that night, so she sneaked back into the house because her mum was on night shift. She slept in, mum found her, beat her up again, and she was at Canal College the next day. She was just amazing, resilient, 16 years old. And that's kind of typical of the strength these young people show us. Um, we talk about young people in kind of one sentence, but when you see 10 or 50 of them together, you see just how different they are, just how different their challenges are, and just how incredible they are as individuals. Um, like this young man here, Martin's a wee bit different from our typical um, young man. Degree in zoology. For some of our youngsters, they're maybe not quite ready to put that step in the job market. Or maybe they are, but they're just not quite sure where. I think maybe that's what Martin's going to say. All these skills, knowledge, qualifications, wasn't quite sure where to step next. And maybe I'll let Martin tell me about his experience. Uh, as you can see, I'm okay like these guys. There's a few years between us. Happy holiday. Happy holiday, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the first course at Western Bankshire. We were in bowling bases. Well, part of it was the boundaries you've seen. And yeah, for me, it was just, I went into it because I, I came with my zoology degree, worked for work, and it was like, oh, do you want to go down to London with a 20, 25 grand debt? No, no really, because that was a bad idea. So came came with these guys to see where I could maybe go next. Had an amazing time with them. Went a lot of stuff. Seven, eight young people were in the bowling group, and none of us knew each other. None of us had any idea who we were. Within three or four weeks, we were doing a hole. First week, <laughs> in the toilet foundry, digging ourselves in a hole. That could be a complete rescue from disaster. Within three or four weeks, if they knew each other, if they helped each other, and. I think it just gave everyone a bit of confidence and a bit of pride in our heritage because we'd worked on this. We'd, we were the one dating the wall gates, we were the one cleaning the canal, we were the one digging the power foundry. And because the young people are the ones doing that, it makes them a bit less inclined to say, boop, just throw that in the canal, just throw that in the, um, in the dig site, nobody cares. No, if you did that, if you did something similar to that, you know exactly what people were going through to put that work in. You're a bit less inclined to ruin it for them because we don't want anyone to ruin it for you. Uh, so that's basically what you know, college is. It's a whole with the personal skills, but it's a whole with the actual skills of obligation. But it is also a wee bit of kind of just pride in your environment. When you look at a canal and you can just say, oh, that's a bit of water. But the canals are what kind of bumped Scotland up in the industrial because it gave us an easy way to move things in there. And then the trains came along and ruined it, but we've still got the canals. And I guess one thing I'm kind of going to say is that it's absolutely amazing. Like these guys, Wesley, everyone, everyone in Grand College is really helpful, really friendly, really open. Because the young people need to put the work in, but so do um, the staff and everything. Because if they're not engaging, the young people are not going to engage, but they were amazing, so the young people, me especially, I just felt like, okay, if I'm not putting my best foot forward, then I'm doing myself a disservice, I'm doing every one of them a disservice, so I guess you just can't eat them either. And I think I'm going to shut up now because I have a family.